The new McLaren 675 is to the 650S what the Speziale is to the Ferrari 458. It's the fast one, the light one, the more trackable one. Unlike the Ferrari, numbers are limited to just 500 and all are now sold. LT denotes long tail, but as you can see it's hardly any longer. But it is a study in how making many small changes can leave you with one very different car. The twin-turbo V8 now has 675 horsepower and 516 foot-pounds of torque, but is much more than a calibration change. The car weighs 1,230 kilograms dry, which is exceptional, and is claimed to have 40% more downforce than a 650S. Tracks are 20 millimeters wider. And the bit you can all see is that grafting an angry chin and bottom onto a 650S transforms it into a rather striking machine. I wonder what it's like to drive. Hello and welcome to our quite short video about the new McLaren 675LT. We haven't much time, but we're going to have another go in another few weeks. So, I wanted to give you an initial impression about this car. The problem with the 675LT is it's so ludicrously, relentlessly fast that it's actually quite difficult for me to sit here and talk to you about it as I'm driving fast. So I might start by driving a bit slower. No, I won't. Let's go fast. Right, here we go. Down the hangar straight. What do you need to know about this car? Well, it's an incremental increase in every single way over a 650S. It's not an all-new car, but they've just changed little bits of everything. Engine up 25 horsepower, 100 kilograms less, loads more downforce, more aggression in the powertrain, and the result is a monster. It really is. I have to swear because it's ludicrous that a car with number plates can do this. Absolutely ludicrous. Good Lord. So we've still got McLaren's active chassis system. It's got brake steer with a little less intervention, but the way it carries speed everywhere is incredible. That 25 horsepower is not a calibration exercise either. It's 50% new components inside the engine. Everything about it's more aggressive, more immediate. The torque curve is completely different. The brakes are just immense. This is a seriously fast car. It's faster than most racing cars I've driven. It's outrageous. They're claiming 22 and a bit seconds to 300 kilometers. That's 186 miles an hour. In my money, that makes it quicker than a F1. Oh, wow. Yes, most, most impressive. What I like is that you can really be accurate in the car and it's got several different chassis settings. You can go from normal for road, sport, which is fine on a bumpy track, and then the track mode, which is fully stiffened up. And the DSC then adjusts itself accordingly. But there are another two modes which are new for McLaren. There's a special dynamic ESC mode that allows a load more slip angle. I mean, quite a lot. Have a look at this. Okay, that's quite a lot in a car with 675 horsepower and then quite unusually for McLaren there's the off button which allows you to turn the whole lot off I suppose at some point we should demonstrate that but allow me to continue with this car the turning is just mind-bendingly good this is stow braking hard just release the brakes get some grip over that front axle and just amazing cornering speed it's a P0 Trofeo tyre, super trick and sticky. Just for efficiency, it's so impressive, but you can play with it. You can just, like that, just neutralise with a bit of throttle, catch it. It's a fun car. I think this put pays to that kind of grey woking image. Anyhow, let's slow down for a minute and then let's do the whole DSC off thing. Right, that's now off, I gather. So what happens if you sort of I don't know. Oh, look. Yes. Okay, it does that. What about onto the hangar straight? What does it do here? 675 horsepower, fully sideways, onto the hangar straight, followed by... I mean, I'm already doing 120 miles an hour. I'm doing 135 under the bridge. From there! Wow! Yes. This is a tool, this thing. And it's 
it is adjustable and fun and you can nibble at the line. I think you can tell I'm liking it. This open differential thing, with this amount of work on it, it's not a hindrance, it really isn't. Ideally I'd like one, but I'm not really missing much here. Dare I say it, it just feels like a slightly baby P1. I can't really, I can't really give it more praise than that. Yes, well that was a good brief look. Can't wait to have a longer go in it. Maybe over sort of four to six months, Neil. Get the long tail theme, boys and girls. So we're here for the 675 LT, obviously. You've seen some driving. Look how cool these are. There are some really nice lightweight components that they fit into the car, and sensibly, they've laid some here. So come and have a look at them, because they're really sexy. First of all, this is your carbon air brake. That is extremely light. Let me get you a number. No, no numbers on there, but it's really light, and it's massive. Check out some of these. Upright. That is just gorgeous. I mean, I'd have that as a, a kind of desk ornament because it's stunning. I'm not so sure about that there because that's a lower arm. But this, look at this. This is just beautiful. Assuming that's the upper arm. Oh, look, there's a rod. A high strength steel alloy rod, not a titanium rod. Okay, come around here because this is where the titanium is or tied to those of you that are really into it. That is the rear cage that you can have as an option. That is extraordinarily light. Either that or I'm extraordinarily strong and I'm not that strong. So um, that weighs 4.383 kilograms. Only McLaren could quote things to three decimal places with roll cages. Here we go. It's a compressor wheel that's been hewn from solid. So a solid block and it's been no doubt laser etched out. It's a thing of considerable beauty, very light, 52 grams. Titanium wheel nuts. There are one, two, three, four, five of those, and I reckon I could probably get myself about 120 quid on eBay. So, all good. Um, titanium exhaust. I mean, that is just, that's severely gorgeous. And I love the fact that when it's hot, the tips do that lovely purpley thing. It's just stunning. 5.2 kilograms for the entire manifold. And the engine cover, thin plastic. 3.68 kilograms here. Um, that is 1.7 kilograms less than the one on a 650S. So you take all these bits together and some other stuff and you've got a 100 kilogram weight reduction, which is a significant loss of weight. Um, yeah, it's a weapon, it's so fast. I shouldn't say that's a weapon because I know I say it the whole time, but it's just fast and I'm tired. And when you're tired and you've been exposed to something that fast, your adjectival vocabulary becomes limited. So yeah, it's fast. <laughs>